This video is entitled Hellavision. Normally when the Holy Spirit gives me videos, he gives me all the information. Every title, every bit of word comes from him. And normally I wait till I have three and I go ahead and knock them all out one night. This is the third one of the three and I have to give a shout out to my buddy Naomi from Facebook. Because tonight when I was talking to a lot of people on there and she was interacting, she gave me the word Hellavision. And the Holy Spirit just hit me and said, topic, speak on it tonight. So, as always, you know, there's no planning, there's no preparation. I just talk, the Holy Spirit gives me word. That's what television is. Television is hellavision, okay? All it is is a box that just leads people to hell. Now, you might say, well, how does it lead people to hell, Paul Kid? Well, I'll just make it plain for you. If you're sitting around watching TV and I, I haven't watched TV for a year now it's only by the grace of God it was a choice I didn't want to do it anymore because it was just so filthy and wicked I wanted nothing to do with it anymore so God has blessed me and helped me to leave it alone but I used to be a TV addict okay and you look at all the stuff it's just sex there's nudity there's filth there's bad language using the Lord's name in vain there's corruption there's drugs there's evil there's perversion there's wickedness it's all boiled balled into one big box and they just you know just throw it at you and there's all kinds of reports now that say that these newfangled tvs that all of us have have certain waves that get into our brains and and affect the way we think and puts permanent imprints on our brains and it's just it's terrible so watching it is showing you all the things that people are going to be cast into hell for and don't think just because you're a Christian that you don't have a chance to go to hell. I don't care what the once saved, always saved, the cheap grace peddlers like Joseph Prince, and he's the king of them. That's why I use his name so much. He's the most, he, he is sending more people to hell than anyone that I know of right now. And it's really, he better, Joseph Prince, if you ever watch this, I already sent you a letter of rebuke, which you know about. You better repent and come back to the Lord right now and stop leading people to hell. But that's what, that's what Hellavision is. It just, it just leads people down the slippery slope away from God. And if you're away from God, then you already know, Jesus said we can serve one master, okay? Jesus or Satan. There's no in-between. There's no fence riding like everybody likes to ride that fence. And, you know, there's like the Joel Olsteins and all the others. No fence riding allowed. You serve God or you serve Satan. But some people will say, well, Brother Paul, how about shows like the History Channel? You know, I can learn a lot about history. I can learn a lot about my world, yeah. The History Channel is the biggest anti-Christian, God-hating channel that I know of. Now, I know there might be some other ones, but it's the one that I've seen the most. They have a whole series. They started just two years ago, not even two years ago, a little over a year, year and a half, maybe up to two, but they just rebuke the Bible and just tell lies and just and make fun of Jesus and make fun of God. And that's what they're all about. They're all about trying to, to disguise and wrap around, you know, because history is cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in history. And I believe that in heaven we'll be able to walk through portals and, and experience history and see historical events and, and things like that. I mean, I don't know for sure. It's just speculation. But I believe that in my heart. But that's what they teach. And you might say, well, Brother Paul, you know, uh, I watch the, the television because I see really cool stuff. You know, I watch Joyce Myers and I watch, or I watch Benny Hinn or I watch Joel Olstein or I watch Creflo Dollar. Or, you know, or any of the of the whole you know realm of televangelists. So, yeah, it's it's really cool. You know, I'm I'm watching that and getting some good preaching. You know, I'm getting some good I'm getting some good stuff. Well, I got some bad news for you. I got a little 411. News flash. News flash. <laughs> You're watching television because those people that I just mentioned and the majority of televangelists, all they are is cheap grace peddlers, once saved, always saved, prosperity doctrine, they're leading you straight down to hell too. You just don't know it. Just step back one second and think about it. Just rewind it for one second and let's just, let's just look at the prosperity doctrine quick, quickly. What they teach with their own words that they don't think about, they say that if you have a fiscal problem, you're not living for the Lord the right way. The Apostle Paul had a thorn in his flesh till the day he died. So by their own words, he wasn't living for the Lord. The Apostle Paul, okay? Jesus Christ, the disciples, for the most part, they were all impoverished. 
you know, there might be, Luke was a doctor, he may have had a little money, you know, and, and, the, and the Apostle Paul was a tax collector, but he probably gave his money away to the poor, but all the old school prophets and Jesus and disciples, none of them were rich. They didn't have a lot of houses. They didn't have fancy clothes, fancy jewelry. So by their own definition, Jesus and all of the people in the Bible weren't living for God the right way. Jesus Christ, God incarnate, God in the flesh, wasn't living for God the right way. So that's what your, your cheap grace peddlers, you know, that's what your prosperity doctrine peddlers are teaching on televangelists. And then you got your once saved, always saved that teach that once you're a Christian, that you can sin all you want, and all that will happen is you might lose a few rewards or get a, you know, maybe a smaller mansion, maybe a condo or an apartment. You know, the Bible says hundreds of times. Google Dan Corner, D-A-N, last name Corner, C-O-R-N-E-R, O-S-A-S. -E and his site gives you hundreds of scriptures, my favorite site, hundreds of scripture that proves once saved, always saves a liar. So you're watching Televangelist? Tele is hella, not tele, hella. Telehelevision, okay? You're watching Telehelevision if you're watching them. Now, there might be a couple of televangelists that are good. I just don't know of any. I don't know of any that I've watched or seen that I trust. I only trust the Holy Bible because nowadays you've got so many wolves in sheep's clothing that are just teaching you lies, and they teach it on TV all the time. So you can't use that for an excuse, okay? And you might say, well, well, Brother Paul, you know, there's a lot of cool cartoons that are wrong, you know, that that my kids can watch and stuff and you know sometimes I'll watch Adult Swim you know because that's just it's just a cartoons for adults there's nothing really wrong with that it's just fun it's filth it's garbage it's, 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 it's wickedness evil you got the South Park garbage you got all these different other show garbage that, that are on it's just it's 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 hella vision what in the world does it do for you why why as a Christian would you want to park yourself in front of the box and just stare at it and just and just let it hypnotize you because I know I know I used to do it all the time I got sick of the the Holy Spirit convicted me and said you need to get away from that you need to get on the computer and start witnessing you need to get start spreading the word start using your life for something other than being just a vegetable or a zombie it, it's it's I'm just telling you am I saying that everything on TV is bad no I'm not saying that there are some things on TV that are good to watch but they're few and far between. And if you want to watch some TV, if you find some good things that are wholesome and that are motivating, that you love, that you really like a lot, hey, that's between you and the Lord. You do what you need to do. But I'm telling you as a fact that the majority of television is television. Okay? So when you're watching that, you're watching Satan and all of his lies and garbage. I've actually seen some really cool animation and stuff, you know, online where it'll show a person that's actually watching television and they're laughing, but the devil is actually, a uh, demon is actually attacking Jesus Christ inside their body, you know, because, or, or the Holy Spirit in their body, because we don't know what kind of junk is brought through that. The demons just come back and forth and just can inhabit us through that. I mean, I know for a fact, a lot of music is that way too. I used to be into some crazy music. You know, and and the and half of my life I was backslidden. I, I listened to stuff that I know now that demons were coming through. You have to be, have to sermon, my, my friends. You have to just you have to be able to, to turn the hell of vision off, and just you know get on Facebook. Use your Facebook as a witnessing tool. If people can go on Facebook and they can you know OMG, which I hate because I don't care if you're even saying oh my goodness or oh my gosh. When you see that, you think, oh, my God, and don't say, oh, my God, around me. I hate that. You, you know, I, I, I'm full of righteous anger and holy discontent. I, I, I can't, I, don't, I despise that. Don't bring that around me. You know, and all this, you know, cursing and filth and, and, and hook up and pick up. If they can use it for that, if they can post all kinds of cute little pictures of, of bunnies and puppies and kitties and babies, which are cool. I love those pictures, too. I just don't use them in my ministry because my, the Facebook pages that I have, they aren't mine. They belong to Jesus Christ. All I am is just a slave. And I'm the administrator here on earth. The same way for this YouTube channel. This is Jesus Christ's YouTube channel. The Holy Spirit gives me every topic, every word. No rehearsing, no practicing. I just start talking. He gives me what he wants me to put out. And it's always from the Bible. It's always from the Bible. You won't catch me teaching things that aren't biblical because he gives it to me. And I can back it up with the Bible because I know his voice. I know what he tells me, what he shows me. And I can tell you right now with him talking through me, I know it's him and I know what he's given me and I know that it's biblical so I'm just trying to help everybody to understand that time is short 
Jesus Christ is coming back any second of any day. We don't have a lot of time to play anymore. Yeah, I know I know that hero camping ruined it for so many Christians, and now they, they think they, they don't even care about the rapture anymore. And the and the non Christians think it's a joke. They they're laughing laughing themselves silly about the rapture and how and how stupid Christians are and how the Bible lies now because remember Harold Camping on all of his billboards he put he had the nerve to say the Bible guarantees it what a bunch of baloney he, he just wrecked stuff now you got the 2012 Mayan garbage and all the alien stuff and everybody's ooh so wrapped up they forgot about the rapture but that's when Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night when no one expects it boom he's here and that's it. If you're not ready, there's no timeouts. There's no do-overs. There's no, hang on a second, Jesus. Hang on, I was almost ready. No. If you're not ready, you're stuck here for seven years of hell on earth you want nothing to do with. When the Antichrist shows up, what you see right now, all the, the horrific stuff in the world, is like Disneyland, man. It's like going to the Bahamas for a year and laying on the beach and tanning compared to what's coming up down the pike. No time for it. Turn the hell vision off. Turn the hell vision off and start working on heaven vision. How about that? Heaven vision. Get online. Use your Facebook, use your Twitter, use, make a YouTube channel. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And let's make heaven vision. Yeah, let's make some heaven vision. Let's just, just spread the word of God, the good news of Jesus Christ, and get it everywhere. Turn the hell of vision off, man. Get the remote. Click. Get up off the seat and start working for God. Get off your couch, go to your computer, roll your chair up, and just start, start working that keyboard for God. Work that keyboard for Christ. Get rid of hell vision. Let's have heaven vision. Let's do it, man. There's not much time left anymore. It's time to get serious. It's time to get right. There's an old song, you know. This I, I think it was I think it was just the Statler Brothers used to sing, "Turn your radio on, turn your radio on." So we got a new one now. Turn the hell vision off. Just click it, man, and get rid of it because there's no time for it anymore. It's time to start focusing our brains on heaven. Our hearts on heaven, our mouths on heaven, our eyes on heaven, our ears on heaven. Hell of vision, no. Heaven and vision, yes. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that you weaned me off of TV and I don't even want to watch it anymore. It was so bad for me. So much junk. It just polluted my brain and my soul and my spirit and my eyes and ears. And I just, I just hate the way I used to do that. But I thank you that you've delivered me from that and I don't have a desire to do it. And I just pray that everyone watching this would just search their own television, television patterns and understand what's on television and what's on television. Because there might be some things that are decent for them and you know their hearts and it's between them and you. That would be television, but the majority of it is television. Just help people to have discernment, to understand, to see what's going on, to just, just get it right, just work with you and get it straightened out. But above all, even if they're going to watch some television, not television, but a little television, make it a little bit so they can click it off when they're done and just get out and work for you. Get out reap the harvest. Get out in the fields. The harvest is so plentiful, it's rotting in the field. It's time to get serious for Jesus Christ right now. Please let this video go far and wide. Let it go everywhere across the Internet so a lot of people can, can hear it, hear this message, and get it out because it's very, very important because you gave it to me. And thanks again to my friend Naomi for laying it on my heart tonight. I love you, Jesus, and I praise you. Amen. As always, my friends, if you are watching the video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done wrong, bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe in my heart you came to earth. I believe in my heart that you died on the cross for my sins. And on the third day, you went back to the right-hand side of the Father to prepare a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Cleanse my heart. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ a child of the king. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. If you pray this, my friends, the Holy Bible says, Jesus says in his own words in the Bible that all who come to me and ask will be saved. Not just some, not most, not many, but all. If you'd like me to pray with you, send me an inbox. Send me a personal message. I'll give you my number. You can call me. I do it all the time on Facebook. I do it on here too. Let me pray with you. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, have a friend who doesn't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, or a neighbor, a family member, if you're sick, you have a sick friend, sick loved one, sick neighbor, sick pet. If you need a job, car, home, food, clothing, water, whatever your needs, I'd love to pray with you. I'll pray believing in my heart, speaking in my mouth, knowing that God will answer all my prayers as he always does as long as I pray within his holy will. Test him, my friends. He'll do the same for you. 
trying to pick it up because I'm always running out of time. 15 minutes isn't much. But thanks so much for watching. Please share this video with everybody. Get it out. It's a very important message. They're all important from the Holy Spirit. This is important. I love you guys, and I pray that God blesses you. Thank you.